I will double down and say the number one stressor right now on the body is non-native radiation. We've never ever radiated us and our entire planet at the level we're doing it. And we have 140 years of research of it because in 1889 is the first time we put electricity in our homes. They called the flu the flu before that, they called it influenza because it was under the influence of the stars, the cosmic shifts, atmospheric pressure shifts. So when there was a solar flare, cosmic shift, full moon, whatever cosmic shift, it disrupts our REM patterns and our bodies would adapt. It's funny, you know, I know a lot of stuff, but I didn't know that that's why it was called influenza and that makes so, sense, so much sense following astrology. <laughs> My that, goodness, I, I, I learn something every time I talk to you. So that, and, and from then on, every major electrification of our electromagnetic blanket of an atmosphere from non-native waveforms. In 1918, during the Spanish flu, they broadcasted radio waves for the first time. And then World War II, radar, Hong Kong flu, were satellites in the Van Allen belt, and now 5G. So we're, we're seeing what we were, or where we were alluding to is that when you pollute our environment, which is our air, which is ether plasma, our chemistry of our bodies adapt to it at the best way we're capable. 